Greetings again adventurers, and welcome back to Let's Play Revelations Persona. In the last episode, we ventured back into the Karma Palace, ready to challenge Queen Selina for the second time. And we told her honestly that, in spite of her efforts, her painting simply did not have the same artistic spark that Mary's did, prompting her to petrify Nate, Mark, and Chris, and leaving only myself and Mary to do battle with her in her demonic form, but fortunately we proved to be a match. But the uh, man of the hour is none other than Bruce, who magically appeared thanks to the magic mirror given to Selina by none other than Maggie herself, in order to stall us for time. And, uh, well, I would say we have no, we no longer have to deal with the Karma Palace, but uh, unfortunately there are a few demons down there who spell cards on me to get off screen. I'll do that later. Uh, speaking of which, I've uh, just emerged from the Velvet Room, and I've used together, uh, well, a fair few personas that Igor is currently holding on to for the time being. Uh, but in terms of personas, um, I've actually given myself uh, Lance um, of the Magician Arcana, because he's going to be very useful. Um, I might just level up Crosscut eventually just to uh, get its rank up to 8. Um, I've also said fairly well to I times 1. Um, everyone else still has their retrospective personas. And I really should actually look into which personas uh, I can use for Chris as well, because that actually might be useful information. But uh, speaking of useful information, now that uh, Selena has pretty much been dethroned, we can now return to the Peace Diner and see what the denizens of the Black Market have to say. It was a dark and stormy night. Well, it is dark, but it is not stormy. Well, now that the Harem Queen is no more, everyone is free to speak their mind. Just as we thought, they all hated Selena's artwork. The old mansion. Of course, the haunted house that's said to lead to a different world. That's all we need at this point. Well, at least one of the customers felt sorry for her. person is still drowning her sorrows. Hmm. Let's see what you have to uh, say, Mr. Bartender. Now well, that's true. And yet he is still the proprietor of this establishment, and I probably want to talk to uh, my fellow party members before we leave. Indeed it was. Without him, we, uh... Well, we wouldn't have gotten out of that situation if he hadn't, um... And you come to think of it, yeah, you were in shock about, uh, Selena. Being the harem queen there. And Nate doesn't care one bit. all Chris uh, cares about is finding Guido. Uh, but before we leave, uh, I'm actually going to go around the other stores and just randomly talk to all the various customers uh, to see what they have to say about the situation. No point in doing so, but it just adds to a bit of character. That's actually good news. And 
and everyone else just says the exact same thing. But yeah, um, now that that cursed magic mirror has been destroyed, and since Maggie isn't using her freaky powers, we can pretty much leave the mall. And speaking of leaving, I just want to talk to you before this music destroys my soul. Indeed. Although I don't think, uh... The bartender allows such ruffians to partake in his, uh, este fine establishment. Nothing over here on the shelf. Indeed they were. I think you already bent the knee to Selena. And, uh, I really should, uh, think about... We can exchange stones for items. Uh, we don't really have any, uh, stones we can use. We traded them on the deals. We've got an aqua stone and a moon stone. Oh, uh, we don't want that. Um, from uh, we had some crystals on hand, but we don't, alas. I really needed something that actually uh, increases MP, or SP, I should say. Raises my level. Spell rocks. Um. Get some physical and magical guards at some point. And, um, don't need those. What I want uh, first and foremost is uh, an incredible amount of uh, the. I probably want uh, 50 of these. Because at this point, uh, with Sumi using 24, uh... Actually, you know what, we'll go 60. 60 is fine. Because Sumi uses a lot of, uh, SP. And that's going to be very crucial. And I think I'll just, uh... Do those, and... Actually, you know what? 15. 15 is fine. Physical magical guards are actually going to be fairly useful um, later on. Yeah, you can never be too careful. Um, I already talked to everyone over there, and I don't want to walk into the into the wall. Um, pretty much everyone is just going to say the exact same thing. Um, the Queen is no longer ruling over the black market. That's a bit of a shame. And we didn't really talk to them uh, in the store. But that castle where the hospital was in our reality Yes, I do. Unfortunately, we had no choice but to do it. But anyway, uh, we know where Guido and the Girl in Black is, are both um, holed up in. But we're going to need to be as prepared as possible if, uh, if we want to fight them. Don't know. Only you can answer that question. The market is still ghost town. And you're all pretty much saying the exact same thing that you did before. 
I think Mary still has a subconscious uh, fear of doctors, to be sure. Let's go into uh, Judgment 1999, but not partying like it's 1999, since 1999 was, well, 20 years ago. That's disappointing, and it's that time again. I'm going to dance anyway, because this music is awesome. Okay, that's enough dancing. Yes, you can, at a, at a cost, unfortunately. I think uh, everyone just says the exact same thing in here as well. At the zoo. Never mind. Well, we freed the denizens of the black market from the girl in black. Hooray! But uh, our job is actually not done yet. Um, still quite a few demons down here, as I said, with spell cards that I will really want to get sooner rather than later, so I will eventually catch you all on the flip side in just a brief moment. Okay, that was a bit of a bust on two counts, because first of all the door that I went to before was actually the door to the Augustus tree, and not the door to the Karma Palace. And that brings me to the second point, which is uh, I shouldn't have left the Karma Palace before getting the demons, because I can't get back inside because the door went open. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm so mad. At this pa at this rate, unless I happen to come across the uh, demons that I'm currently missing um, at some point. Oh, by the way, we can now leave. Yay! We can leave, of course, thanks to the loss of Selena's power. Now we can uh, have a look around. Ca uh, Castle is to the north, where the hospital is. And if we actually have a look at it, um, Yeah, apparently it's called the Castle Mana, which is a very interesting name for a castle. But I'm just gonna be uh, wandering the block searching for elusive demons. So, one moment. Alright, we're back at the black market. Chock a block full of uh, spell cards. I'm actually quite glad that I've ran into them. Uh, all the demons that uh, I thought I I wouldn't get. Um, already had them, but uh, managed to get the Sith, um, Karen, Flux, Hermes, or Hermes, not Hermes, Principal, Chomp, and I. Yeah, then that's about it. That's all the demon cards, uh, spell cards I can hold at the moment. So it's back to the velvet room we go. Ready for some new Persona Fusions. And I'll show you the some of the Personas that I've uh, summoned in this instance. Uh, before I perform any new fusion summons. Um, There's Empress Brigitte. Reflects lightning weak against spirit. It is going to be exceptionally useful with blast attacks. Hellion of the Magician Arcana. Wind based, obviously. Strong against magic, weak against attacks. I can live with that. And also did Mordo as well. Should get to uh, fusion something. There we go. And Bell 
Donald Donna with a lovely melody there. Yeah, we really need to uh, get down on our um, can't afford to get rid of Cyrus. That would be a bad thing. Cerberus of the Fortune Incarna, Poison Bite, Wolf, Magic, Magic Shield would be good. Tackle Revive and Viranagel. Mm, not particularly that useful. Um, ooh. 46 Vixen of the Priestess Arcana. Multipin, Heal Lol, Power Cure, Heat Wave, Revive More. Oh my. Are you strong against magic? It's holy light, but it's strong against magic. I can't handle it yet. Ah, oh, that's uh, Chomp and Mermaid. I will want to hold on to you two at some point. So that's 12 and 6. Oh my god. Um, Viper, Candy Voice, Ill, Cure, Aqua Wall, Strength Up, and Freezer. Freezer's okay, but it's uh, not that good. Also, strong against attack, weak against magic. Never a good combination in my book. Um, region Magnet, Light Kick, Flash Wall, Gravity Wall, Holy White. Could be useful. It's Sith and Karen. Um, I think I could summon it. Burn. Electro power, uh, power of return, holy and air slice, Mephisto, the hero found. Um, Zope's lightning weak to blast. Cyrus, don't want that. Don't want Cyrus to, to be used in a fusion summoning by accident. Um, we already have pretty much most of the uh, mid level personas that we're going to use at this point. Um, you know what? I'll. Uh, It's Glebe and Karen. Um, I've, already, but I, I've already got that. No, I didn't want to quit out of self service fusion. What I want is. well. region it is. Another uh, useful persona to our arsenal. I really have to uh, start building up the ranks here, but I can do that uh, in between episodes. Karen and Seth will fuse together the Eagle's phone conversation. Give us a brand new persona. Region of the Justice Arcana. Missing out on a lot of things that go, hey, you can fuse a devil arcana somewhere. Um, probably wasted that opportunity. Ooh, Priestess Vixen. Um, that's the one I want. Um, that's pr actually, that's Principal and Hermes. That's actually better um, than the one I had before, but that is one I. Okay, I'll keep Principal and Hemis, because that will give me Vixen. Oh man. Heal all on Revival. Good combination. Definitely want to keep that. Um... Uh, all these different personas. Well, 
kind of useful. Blaze, Blaze All, Heat Wave, and Fizzle Wall. Good against physical. Well, Fizzle Wall to offset the fact that he's weak to physical attacks. Unfortunately, that means getting rid of Cyrus, and I do not want to do that. For obvious reasons. Um, as I will keep as I will keep telling. Um, that's Hemi's um, in hand now. That's not quite as good. Um, could do the uh, fortune arcana. Uh, Han Yuen, no, not principal. Um, unless I do uh, flux and chomp, in which case I can afford to get rid of principal. So flux or t flux and chomp. Or her Hemis and Principal will give me um, Vixen. No effect against Tackle, weak to uh, weak to Whip. Um, having Magic sealed all the time might actually uh, be a good thing have good uh, magic defense and I can actually uh, summon it um, you know what fine we'll we'll take Cerberus why not farewell Hanya farewell principal Cerberus has arrived. Thank you very much for your generosity there, Regal. Let me just uh, check everything that I have. Okay, Flux and uh, yeah, Flux and Chomp still want. Anubis probably won't be that useful in the grand scheme of things, but uh, having an Egyptian god of the dead, you know, might count for something. Then again, yeah, that's actually um, that's actually one of the interesting quirks slash downfalls to the uh, fusion summoning, as well as crafting personas, because um, if you watch the Super Gaming Bros. Uh, Let's play uh, RPG series. Um, basically, they said that uh, Persona is kind of like, um, essentially, uh, how do I put this? Uh, the way they used it was, um, whenever you craft a Persona, you're always looking for something better. But um, which is a very good rule of thumb. Uh, 
classic uh, Persona games, because uh, as useful as some Personas can be, eventually you're going to have to return them for other ones. Uh, that's Chomp and Remy, but I already have you. I'll keep those ones for now, since I don't really have any, anything to uh, do with them. But I believe that uh, Igor's uh, Sony Companion is starting to run out of space. We've only got uh, five spaces left. We're eventually going to have to uh, level up some personas. We actually might have to say farewell to Jack Frost because we can't. Uh, well, we can't hold on to him forever. As much as it pains me to do this, I said I wasn't going to, and I have to uh, say fairly well to Jack Frost. Luke Essence, or Lark Essence. There we go. Back to the Sea of Souls you go, Jack Frost, freeing up an extra slot. And uh, I'll just have to see. Uh, who can take what persona at this point? Um, I can take Leviathan, Diva, and Mark. Um, let's see. Poison Air, Bless. Diva's going to be useful in terms of healing. And wave. Um, up that one um, in between episodes. But anyway, it is time to uh, leave this episode. Uh, no, what am I talking about? Leave the Velvet Room because we actually uh, have a destination to reach. Indeed we do. That being the ominous Castle Mana, the home base of uh, the girl in black, Udo Sardinia. Hidden behind the full moon icon, um, we're going to have to go there, but um, I'm actually going to jump ahead just a little bit, so you don't have to watch me uh, running my way through demons, so uh, I shall see you so all soon outside the gates of Castle Mana. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we've finally arrived the really eerie looking castle mana that looks like a very creepy remodeling of the St. Herberlin, no, not what am I doing, not St. Herberlin, hi, the Lunavale General Hospital. And also on my way here, I happened to run into a certain demon that I was looking for, the Ripper, otherwise known as uh, Togepi, not, no, not Togepi, the Pokemon, Togepi, sorry. Demon I was looking for, Holy Light Wonder, strong against magic, but weak against uh, Holy Magic, since of course it is a, uh, or one of them at least, either Holy or Mudo, whatever may have you. This demon I've been looking for for a while, which makes my spell card count 65, which means I have 77 to go. Six more and I'll be halfway. Oh my word, we're only halfway. And, uh. You know what? I'm actually uh, going to go into the Castle Mana Gate. Here goes nothing. Straight into enemy territory yet again. And there's Maggie, guarding the entrance. No one can come in except for the person in the forest, so that would be my. But she doesn't have the guts to come in. You seem pretty confident about that. That's probably because Mai is scared of you. And for good reason.
probably wouldn't have been able to make that. Well, maybe one of us might have, but then that would actually be a bad idea. Yeah. Nate's pondering something. I wonder. Well, the door won't open. I think she used something on that pedestal there to uh, open the door. Yep, Nate was certainly paying attention there. I hope you were as well, adventurers. And Nate's going to have a look at it. A crescent shaped key. We'll need to find one of those. And Mary has just realized who, Ni uh, who Maggie was talking about. The Lost Forest. That appears to be our next destination. Which means we have to go all the way back through the subway to the west side of town. Oh boy. And Chris is apparently going to break down the door with his bare fists. Apparently. Maybe he can. Like, who knows? Yeah. For whatever reason... Chris has a has an obsession with Guido. Dare I say even a grudge, perhaps? A grudge that rivals Nate's, perhaps? Who knows? There's so much we don't understand about our fifth party member. But we'll cross that road bridge when we come to it. Well, you're a Persona user, and you are part of, uh, St. Herbalin High. And we did promise your, well, make a promise to your mother, who's probably still somewhere in Luna Vale. to tell sometimes. Crescent shaped opening. Uh, we need to find the object that fits that. And apparently Nate is interested in the fact that Mark has warmed up to Chris. I don't think the feeling is mutual, however. Welcome to the club. Yeah. Here's a grudge against them, alright. The door won't budge. And this looks fairly macabre. Um, kind of looks like a cemetery or something. Um, I don't think it's a cemetery, but it uh, looks pretty eerie. And there's, uh, well, we can't get in. Is, uh, which is fantastic. That's, uh, that's just great. So when we return adventurers, we shall return to the west side of Lunavale, the side of light, and venture into the lost forest and try and find the mysterious little girl known as Mai. The little girl that we encountered at the begin beginning of this ordeal. As always, dear adventurers, until next we meet.